Well, hello YouTube. Let's turn our machine into anonymous FTP server so anyone on internet or internet can exit and get your files. So the thing is extremely simple. If you don't have PyFTP lib module, just grab it with pip install PyFTP D, don't forget D, lib. And in a split of a second, you're gonna see it here. So we have it on our system right now. And we don't need to type the single line of code here. Okay, so just go to a base FTP server and grab this piece of code with the copy paste or whatever you like. Let's save it. And we need to change a couple of things here. So first we don't need individual users because we need a lot of anonymous people to get into our server. So let's comment this out. And down there, the default port is 2121. Let's change this to five, I don't know, 5000 or something, who cares? And we must set our current RP. In my case, that is this one for now. And you need to find out that in your system using, I don't know, terminal command prompt, uh, IP config, if config, whatever you have. Um, I'm guessing that you know how to do this. Right, so down there, you don't need to worry about how many connections you're gonna have, well, at least for now. And uh, yep, so that's that's pretty much it. So let's run this module. And there you go, here, everything is fine. This is uh, basically status of your server. So every time when someone tries to get in or tries to, tries to grab specific file, you will see piles and piles of uh, lines here. Uh, you can observe what people are doing basically. And this is extremely useful script because in basically in a half minute you can have your server ready. I really love this Python. So where was, yeah, we need to prove this thing. So the port was 5000 and that's it, we are in. So see every time when we refresh, there you go, we have status messages. When we try to get a new text document, there you go, uh, we have it on our system, so everything works basically. The just important thing to note is uh, from where you run this script, that will become parent directory of server. Okay, so that's important thing to note. And uh, you cannot get out in an upper directory, so that's some kind of security here. Simple stuff, but it will get the job done. So yeah, you can, I don't know, you can change you can get with uh, with classical FTP client in your server, no problem. Just FTP and then open IP 0100. And I think that I need to type 5000 here. Right, so a user anonymous. Uh, no. Is that how to type this in English? Anon and anon at anon.org and I don't think that that will work, just a second. Yeah, so the user must be full anonymous, something like this. And yeah, so username, okay, password, I don't know, who cares, like lol at lol.lol. .lol. And th there you go, so everything, uh, you, see, you see everything in your status messages. So ls and there you go, the same stuff. Help the, what kind of options you have in a, in a system and that's pretty much it. So let's get out from this manual stuff. I'm forgetting how to do stuff pretty much these days manually. So yeah, I'm spoiled, who cares? Uh, right, so that's about it. So as always, when you see that something gets the job done, give a full credit to authors of this module, if they have blog, YouTube channel, account, whatever whatever they have. Because PyFTP Dlib is an absolutely magnificent piece of uh, source code. Okay, I really love this stuff. I really love Python. Man, this is, it's so easy these days to become a, a programmer because you have documentation everywhere. You don't need to pay pay CDs and, and the special kind of stuff from vendors. I really love this Python stuff. Anyway, I'm talking too much. So, yep, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna shut up and see you next tutorial.